Good morning. It's Monday morning and the boys and I are heading out for a walk. Shadow Man is coming with us. Shadow Man. Shadow Dog. <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> We're going to head up this way. You can, uh, you can walk to your heart's content back in here. And this is separate from the um, off-road vehicle trails. Um, actually, there's a fence line right here it goes on all down that that uh, blocks off the this section from that uh, off-road vehicle area. We've walked over in that off-road vehicle area last year. I don't know if we'll, we might go back up here again this year. Show you around a little bit, see if anything has changed. Hang on, just spilled some coffee. Okay, I just wanted to get the coffee off my hand. It's it lapped up over the top and uh, went down over the back of my hand. And I should put the uh, cap on the cup, but what fun is that? Gotta live life a little risky, you know? <laughs> uh, you can tell by uh, the ground here, they've had a little bit of rain, just enough to to wet the surface it hasn't happened since we've been here but it, it must have happened just prior to us arriving you know a day or two before i was getting the coffee ready this morning and uh just doing my little morning routine there, sitting inside, heating up the water or the coffee and all. And uh, I hear a vehicle and this black Jeep Wrangler Rubicon pulls in right in front of the van. This really good looking girl gets out. This isn't a joke either. <laughs> She gets out, and uh, so I got out, and uh, she said, do you live here? <laughs> I said, no, we're just camping here for a few days. And I said, you know, we were here last year and really liked it, so we came back. And she said, oh, I was just out for a, a drive. I said, well, yeah, it's a really nice area. And uh, so we were talking a little bit, and... Uh, I was telling her, you know, that I had talked to a rancher and that they uh, have a grazing permit for this land and it's BLM land. And so she petted the pups for a bit and then got back in and headed out, left our life again. <laughs> but she was very good looking. Probably, I'd say, early to mid 20s. Hi guys. Hey Bert. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. <clears throat> you know, when we were on the way here, I was thinking, oh, what if somebody's already in our the spot where we wanted to park there. And I was thinking, you know, hey, we might even come back in this way. Because you could get back in here. And this again, this is all BLM land. So you can camp pretty much anywhere you want.
Uh, let me show you this hose. <clears throat> See this black hose here? Okay. That black hose goes all the way over. If you see the that hill with the uh, antennas on it, there's like two, four, or six antenna towers. Um, just down towards the base of that hill, probably back in that area, there's a well. And that this line comes all the way from that well and goes, well, let's see if we can even see where it goes to. Is uh, we went, walked up to it last year. Uh, you can't even see it from here, but that hose, here it is here, cutting right across the road. But it goes on out, way out there. There's a, a watering trough for the cattle. And this hose goes on out there to uh, fill that trough. There's a lot of hose. Hey boys. And it meanders all around here. Comes up here and crosses the road again. Oh, I take that back. It doesn't cross the road. This is a piece of uh, that is a piece of old hose. That's the old line that used to run up here. The new line is still over here on the side. Find something smells good. This old line looks like they just put it in right along the roadway here. The new line is over yonder. <clears throat> hey guys. Well, yonder there, if you can see it, that's uh, that's the Border Patrol checkpoint down there. Okay, that uh, that watering trough that that line's going to sits kind of like up on that hill there somewhere. We walked up to it last year. It's a good distance out there. That little area up here, right up in there, it's a little bit of a rise and there's a little bit of tree coverage up there along with those big yuccas. And uh, the cattle like to go up there in the summer and uh, in, in the shade there. Right over on. So we could have come back here, although I mean, thing there's a lot of 
some broken glass there, but you know, like right there would not be a bad spot to park and camp. Just behind that little mound there. You can see there's tracks going around here. People come out here and drive around in the back too. This isn't the actual RV, um, not RV, but off-road vehicle area. But it's, I mean, it's still open. It's, anybody can come back here. Hi, boys. I think you can almost see, let's see where I'm pointing, right out around there. Yeah, I think right in that area out there is where that water trough is. It's a pretty area. And there's nobody else here. Yesterday, uh, there was a couple of vehicles came out. Uh, one brought a dirt bike and the other had a, a trailer with a uh, off-road ATV. And uh, they ran around, they went into the OHV area and rode around there for a couple hours in the afternoon. And then they left, and then it was just us again. <laughs> you can hear just a little hum of the traffic from down on Interstate 10. It's not bad. Kind of neat at night time. Get a lot of truck traffic night time. And it looks like just one full straight line of uh, lights going up and down the road here is you get so much truck traffic coming through. It's actually a lot lighter now than it is at nighttime. But this is a major uh, route for trucking. Probably coming from uh, over around the, uh, the ports. Uh, you know, what is that, Long Beach and uh, San Diego. Well, <clears throat> we're not gonna go all the way up to that water trough because it's still a good distance. 
you gotta wind around up there. It's uh, it's at least probably another half mile or so. I think we'll probably turn back now. What do you guys think? What do you say? Go uh, turn back or go further? Had a good good morning walk. Okay, let's head back then. <clears throat> All right, well, hey, we'll, uh, we'll probably let you go here shortly. You know, the, uh, when I was talking to a rancher last year, he had told me that the ranch area that they have goes all the way over to the foothills of those mountains right there. So, big area. Of course, a lot of it's BLM land that they lease. But they got the use of it, so hey, yeah. There goes Elton. Elton's out in lead. My recon scout. <laughs> it's a long way back to run. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, take good care. And uh, we will see you later. Can you see the, uh, the black water line out there? It's not too far. <laughs> He's on the hunt. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. We will talk to you later. Thanks for coming along on the walk with us. Shadow Man. <laughs>